When you experience a life-changing moment, it can seem as if time stands still, and the insight you gain at that instant can shape your destiny from that point on. Neferiti Jade Naidu had this kind of experience while recovering from diabetes, and it inspired her to embark on a journey to wellness. She's now helping others to find new paths in life, and Karishma went to learn more. This morning, I'm at one of my favorite places to practice yoga in Cape Town. It's a true oasis within the hustle and bustle of the city. I'm here to meet Neferiti Jade Naidu, who's going to take us through her journey that led her down a timeless health and wellness path. In a world in which we're constantly chasing the clock or being chased by it, it's essential that we make space in our lives for re-energizing me time. And Neferiti never misses her morning yoga. Nefriti, so nice to see you. Oh, you're too, sweetheart. What inspired your love for yoga and how has it impacted your life? A couple of years ago, more than a decade ago, I was diagnosed with shock-induced diabetes and it was due to a very traumatic incident. My body had been affected by it, but also my mind. And so I looked to yoga as something that would help bring mindfulness to not only my body, but my mind. And it has completely changed my life. Sandy, thank you so much for creating such an exquisite space for us here in Cape Town. I think we created my utopia to fit into people's lives, people that have busy lives, frenetically paced. The one thing we'll always sacrifice is our exercise time or our me time. I see the sun is rising and that's our cue to get into class. Shall we? As a life coach, neuro-linguistic trainer and business oh, consultant, Nefriti has to become centered and focused in order to add value to the lives of her clients. And yoga helps her to do so. Thank you so much, guys. Great stuff. You did a wonderful job today. Karishma, I'm sure you worked out quite an appetite, so let's get showered and meet at Nourish. Meanwhile, refreshments were prepared. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Some coconut water and mint. Thank you. Nefriti, you've had quite an interesting journey regarding your health that has led you on the path that you're on today. Can you tell me a bit about that? I ended up in hospital and I was told that I had severe depression, anxiety and type 2 diabetes. I kind of started to investigate alternative methods and found that through nourishing myself correctly, through being mindful in terms of what it is I put into my body as well as my mind, the thoughts that I allowed to come into my mind, I could facilitate healing. What was the tipping point that really made you feel like you need to make a drastic change? At the time I had a three-year-old son and for me that was basically the tipping point, what led me to pursue all the things that I have in order to, to better heal myself. What is your approach towards nutrition and why do you think it should be at the forefront of health and wellness? Our body is like a swimming pool and if we don't take care of it, it's going to get green and fungi and mouldy and, and so mindfulness in terms of eating, in terms of moving is absolutely pivotal to living a fulfilled and balanced lifestyle. I see uh, Gabby's prepping something interesting over there. Should we go see what she's up to? Why not? Let's go. <laughs> Gabby, this looks so beautiful. What Thank are we making you. today? So we're making a spiced almond smoothie today. A little bit of chia seeds. Yum. I'm going to start off. I'm going to put our homemade almond milk in first. Reason being is just because it doesn't get stuck to the bottom. So we now got some organic almond butter, which I'm going to throw in there. And then I've got some cucumber, which is actually just great for the binding. So now I'm just adding in some chopped spinach, baby spinach. And now I've got some frozen zucchini. That is so interesting. I've actually never heard of that before. Yeah, you don't even taste it. And now we've got some vegan protein powder, which we're going to throw in there. And now, finally, we've got some maca powder and our cinnamon as one of our spices. And then I've got some chia seeds over here, which I've actually soaked. It's more easily digested when seeds are soaked. And then finally, I've got some fresh ginger for an extra bit of spice. The final touch of creaminess to the smoothie is half an avocado. And throw that in there. And now I'm done. All I'm going to do is pick it up and go and blend. Ladies, here are your smoothies. Thank you. Pleasure. Mm. Enjoy. And mm. what's the verdict? The, you can really taste the spices coming through and the warmth yes. of the ginger, which is lovely. Straight to the throat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gabby, what's next? Okay, so now we've got our Buddha bowl. So I've just got some simple mixed leaves and a base of our bowl. And I'm going to start with our beetroot quinoa. And I'm going to add about just over a cup of quinoa. And I'm going to make like a nice kind of a little ball. 
So what we have here is we have some tender stem broccoli, which I've just slightly steamed. So you're gonna put it on the side here. And then I'm gonna pop down our roasted tomatoes. And then finally, I've got some crispy kale. Oh, I love some crispy love kale. Love kale. And then after that now, we've got some beautiful zucchini slices. Now I'm gonna to top off with our sweet potato sesame falafels. It's got a little bit of spinach in there for some extra nutrients. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some avo. Would you like to slice it for me? Well, it helps that you have a sharp knife. That's perfect. Thank you. And then all we do now is that we fan it out. And then now I'll find a little pinch of salt and our little grinding of black pepper. And finally, our tahini dressing. Here is a beautiful Buddha bowl. I hope you ladies enjoy it. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Gabby. <laughs> Thank you. Nefriti, you are doing the Growing Younger Challenge here. Growing Younger is basically being able to tap into that space within yourself where you are able to reset your biostat. So basically, conventional thinking leads us to believe that growing older means deteriorating. But science has now disproved that and people can actually reverse their aging through mindfulness, through regular cleansing, aiding the body in the detoxification process, and mainly resetting your mind. What can we all start doing to ensure that we are all growing younger from the inside out right now? Be mindful of what it is you put into your body and your mind. Increase your water intake. Hydration is key for good skin and also brain function. Did you know that when the brain is dehydrated, it functions at like 50% less. Being mindful of what you're thinking and also your environment plays a huge role. Tell me more about the institute. I founded an institute. We train and graduate neuro-linguistics programming practitioners, life coaches and hypnotherapists as well as timeline therapy practitioners. And basically NLP teaches you how to understand your mind. Your mind can create dis-ease in the body and through my journey I had to be very cognizant of the quality of my thinking, of what was going on in my mind and if that was contributing to my overall health situation. You are also an entrepreneur. What fuels the businesswoman within you? I started my very first business in 2005. It was exceptionally successful. I was influenced by my father and greatly by my, my grandmother because she, she's a phenomenal businesswoman. And then I got divorced and decided to move to Cape Town. And then I started up Evolution Cafe. I later sold it to Red the Gallery and became a partner at Red the Gallery. And now I'm involved at My Utopia. Speaking about the Red Gallery, I would love to finish up here and then go take a sneak peek. Fabulous, let's do that. Wow, Nefriti, this is beautiful, but it's a little bit off the health and wellness path. It's just such a magical experience. I get to meet different artists. And you know, looking at a painting and then meeting the artist, there's just a certain magic about that. I love everything beautiful and I love the glitz and glam, but more in a, in a simple way. And art speaks to who I am. What do you think helps you to maintain a youthful soul? Just stepping into that space of serenity through mindfulness, through mindful eating, and through surrounding myself with beautiful things. <laughs> How do you think the focus on cultivating outer beauty has impacted our cultivation of inner beauty? Mahatma Gandhi said, be the change you hope to see in the world. So the process of cultivating beauty outside starts with doing it from within. Because perception is projection, what we see in others is essentially what's inside of ourselves. And the way that we feel on the inside of us essentially translates into the way we create our reality on the outside.